Back then, people really didn't have an idea of what a computer was. They would see maybe movies or TV, where there would be a big computer in a room with lots of flashing lights. They'd call it a Univac or an IBM. And the idea that, that a person could just go and program one was completely foreign. John Kemeny was brought to Dartmouth to revamp the Dartmouth math department. And while, when he was chair, uh, one of his first hires was Tom Kurtz, who he had met at Princeton. Kurtz, in his many trips to MIT, which had, I guess, the closest computer <laughs> actually to be used to the Dartmouth campus, Kurtz learned about something called time sharing. Before time sharing, people used batch systems. And what they had to do was either create a deck of punch cards using a key punch and feed them into a hopper, or there were other input devices such as paper tape. Before that, people actually had to flip switches. Time sharing gave the ability for many programs to be executed uh, in a reasonable amount of time as opposed to programs being executed one after another. Kemeny, on the other hand, was very concerned that people should have a reasonable language with which to actually speak to the computer to get their ideas implemented and executed. What BASIC did was it really democratized computing along with time sharing. So now people had access to computers because of time sharing and they could write their own computer programs because of BASIC. May 1st at 4 a.m. that two programs were executed simultaneously, both written in the BASIC language and so that marriage of simultaneity and simple language is the birth of BASIC when it was introduced in its original form, was used on the Dartmouth campus uh, by students, faculty. A bunch of kids in the high school started writing programs using the time-sharing system that Kim and Ian Kurtz had developed and made available to the local kids and eventually to high school kids all over the country. At least 85 percent of all students had done some form of programming, which remember, we're on a liberal arts campus and that's kind of extraordinary. Not only had 85% of the students written four programs, but that 90% of those programs were correct. So that's an even more staggering statistic. You know, the college kids would bring their dates to the computer center. There was a program called Date Star Star Star. That meant it was in the public library and you would sit there with your date. I mean, not that I had a date at that age. Uh, but they would come in with their dates and they would answer questions and then it would print something out. The undergraduates built timesharing at Dartmouth. They quickly became actually national experts in timesharing. Once people have computing, they come up with all sorts of ideas. We certainly see that today and it started really with BASIC back in the 60s. I think it's honest to say that it succeeded uh, beyond his wildest uh, dreams. Or Kemeny was a dreamer, so maybe it didn't actually. So maybe maybe it actually succeeded at the level of his wildest dreams. Kemeny had, and Kurtz, Kemeny and Kurtz. You know, they had these ideas, and then they wanted to do them now. That's why it was so exciting growing up here around Dartmouth when basic and time sharing were the thing. That was it. You know, that was the cutting edge. And I, you know, we were too young to even care to, if we were on the cutting edge, it was just so much fun, it was so exciting.